Hey guys, and welcome back to Glitch in the System. When we last left off, we saw the unfortunate demise of Glitch, uh, of Screwed and Hosed, sorry. Uh, but we did escape the mines, almost. But unfortunately, uh, as we were about to make our daring escape, we fell through the floor and ended up in this cave. Never mind, minor setback, I'm sure. So, these big rocks here, we can actually blow up. I'm pretty sure. Yes, this one has a secret chip in it. It's also full of these weird bugs. They're kind of fugly. They don't seem to do anything. But uh, yeah, you don't want to get too close to those. Right, we just picked up a golden washer there as well. Mental note. Golden washers. Good. Worth lots of money. Cool. Let's go. Let's start making our way through this nightmare. Now, I do like this cave system. Oh, hello. Looks like the millbots have followed us down. Well, let's make sure they regret that. Ha. Huh. Hey guys, welcome to the party. Oh god. <laughs> You're gonna show me how a rock feels, are you? Explain yourself, dude. You're dead. Ooh, that's... That's gonna hurt. That's really gonna hurt. Get freaking wrecked, guys. I'm going to continue opening all of these. I don't know if there's actually anything in all of these. I know there's stuff in some of them. Might be easier just to use coring charges. Nah, I don't know, like it. Uh, these things are kind of dotted all over the place. Now, um, it, it, uh, these grenades, these coring charges, you'll see as I throw them. See how that smoke trail kind of like... It kind of follows the grenade, but disappears. It's really kind of annoying. Uh, on the Xbox, that doesn't happen. Which is something that I noticed uh, really, really quickly. The smoke is a lot better. Now, vehicles. Oh, yes. We have some vehicles. We also have a mega health, uh, a gold coin, and a shield. Let's grab the loader and do some damage. Now, on the Xbox, this bit was... Uh, on the Xbox 360, I should say. This bit was really difficult. Because uh, it ran at like 4 frames a second. So, uh, if you're going to play it on the Xbox, all I can say to you is Godspeed. And we really want to maximize the fact that we've got the shield. Because these things strip your health away very, very, very fast. But luckily, we do have a spew on the front of this thing. We also have some pincers. <laughs> yes, we can have some fun with that a little bit later on. Right. Let's take these vehicles out first. We've also got these flying droids. Like that. They look kind of a little bit like um, uh, Banshees from Halo. At least that's how I'm going to think of them now. They're not that dangerous. Not on their own anyway. Uh, I think there's a couple. Yeah, we got some standard mill bots as well. We can pick these up and we can blast them. Which is really comically unfair, if you ask me. Or we can just drop them in the water. Uh, they die horrifically either way. Which is good, because that's exactly what we want to happen to these bastards. Now we can open up these rocks as well. But I'm not 100% sure, like I say, if there's actually anything in these rocks. But we are going to make short work of these bloody millbots. Millbot scum. Uh, nope. No, I guess not. I mean, this is the way we've got to go anyway. But there are some nice little things in here that we don't want to miss out on. I don't know what these crystals are all about. Seems like these guys are mining some sort of crystals for some reason. I'm sure we'll probably never find out. Uh, you can see there's loads of guns and things that have actually fallen into the water. We can't get into the water. It is instant death. Uh, presumably because we're a robot. Now, if we come over here and be a sneaky little bastard, we can find some nice little goodies tucked away in this crate. Oof! You know, we can also jump into the water accidentally and die horrifically. Ah, uh, yeah, that's this game. That's this game for you. Sometimes the checkpoints are fair. Sometimes they're really, really not. 
Right, as I was saying, there's a secret chip in here, a rivet gun, and some more money. Now, the rivet gun is quite a nice weapon. It is a S2 type rivet gun modified to fire steel piercing rivet arrows at ultra high velocity. It's your sharpshooting weapon, basically, and it is pretty freaking dangerous. Let me just say that much. And I I think that's all that's really here to find. That's the way that we came in. And let's go back out this way. Yeah. Come on. Here we go. Don't fear the reaper. Right. Aha. And we have flavor country once more. All right. Let's sweep the skies clean. This vehicle's called a loader. Now, vehicles, from what I can remember, don't actually have uh, a health limit. So, for all tenses and purposes, vehicles are invincible, but you do take damage whilst you're in them. So, bear that in mind. Alright, not bad. Not bad. I want to have a bit of a look around. Make sure there's no golden washers hidden anywhere, because you want as many golden washers as you can find. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, that is pure death distilled right there. I'm glad we can actually get back out of that water. Otherwise, that would have been rather unfortunate. Get the frick out of here, dude. Your scrap. Ah, hello. You want to go for a swim? Sure you do. Oof. Unlucky. Now, you don't want to make too much of a habit of doing that. And I'll tell you why. Uh... If you actually drop an enemy into the water and he's someone that's carrying money, you'll lose all of that money. Yeah, that's bad. Don't do that. Want as much money as we can get our grubby little hands on, as I've said before. Okay, not bad. We can get out of here now. Ah, right. We came, we saw, we destroyed everything. This bridge up here we can destroy, but there's no point. You can see there's cracks in it. Ah, that is a wonderful sound. Listen to that. That sound indicates the barter droids are close by. Over here. Hey there, sport. We're the barter droids. You can call me Shady, and this here is Mr. Pockets. Uh, don't ask why I call him that. Let's just say he could go blind. <laughs> We're purveyors of the finest in underground trade. Your one-stop shop for weapons, ammo, and other assorted uh, gadgets. Hey, if you run the washes, we'll bring the goods. That sounds like a fair trade to me. Now, one thing I will say, whilst playing this emulated on the 360, that introductory spill from these two with pockets, and I've already forgotten that dude's name. Um, yeah, that didn't play, but the shop opened normally, so there's definitely some problems. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can buy a rocket launcher, and we can buy the scatter blaster. Two pretty juicy items, to be honest. But I don't know if I actually want to buy them. Because that we can get for free very soon. Uh, that we can get free a little bit later. Which I might... I don't know. I do like the Scatter Blaster. But at this point in time, ammo for it is incredibly rare. So, we might just not bother, to be honest, and save our money for some better weapons later on. Hmm. Now, these upgrades here. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, so these are the weapon upgrades. Like that will upgrade Spew to level 2, which will make it way more powerful and allow us to hold more ammo for it. Now, the longer you hold off buying these, the further you get into the game, the cheaper these will actually become. But for now, considering we're not really struggling, we're not going to buy any weapons. 
as much as I do love the shotgun in this game, it is a wonderful shotgun. Uh, we will get that a little bit later on for free. So let's hold out for that. Okay, let's go. Let's get ready. We have the spume. We have the rivet gun, which we have for free, which is pretty bloody nice. Let's push ourselves forwards. Tension all mills. Look out for a rogue droid, huh? Well, here's your rogue droid. Happy birthday, chum. Ooh, that fucked him up. I, didn't, I thought I was going to miss then, but I literally just destroyed his gun. Excellent. Alright, intruders here. Come on. Come one, come all. Come into my stream of justice. You're about to be mined. Eh, might as well drop down here. Now, there is some lighting flickering going on, which is not an emulator glitch, because we're not emulating the game. That does happen on the GameCube as well, which is kind of weird when you think about it. Uh, looks like some chumps have gone up here. Oi! No running! No cowards allowed in this man's army. Uh, looks like there's another one up there as well. Okay, cool. Now, we got to destroy this thing. Nice. Me like it the boom. Hey friend. Ah, uh, he dropped some he dropped some coins for us, I think. Yes he did. Sorry, some washers. Now I've I will say one thing. I've never actually not bought the uh shotgun there. So this is gonna be interesting. Hopefully we haven't screwed ourselves. I mean I'm pretty sure we haven't because we have all the tools we need right let's go Ooh. now luckily destroying that system has switched off these grinders you can bet your ass that would have been a little bit awkward if we hadn't ah this looks like a target rich environment oh god look at the balls on this guy all right let's go come on glitch let's show him why we are the top dog around here not bad Oh, that was a good nade. Now, you've got to be careful, these little fuckers. You really need to be vigilant because you will notice eventually... Oh, God, we're out of ammo. You will notice eventually these gits are going to start slinging grenades back at us. And one grenade is all it takes. <laughs> and that's all she wrote for, for little Glitchy. They're pretty savage. All right, we want to pick these bastards up. Yeah, man. There we go. Debt packs. You picked up a debt pack, a powerful explosive that can be planted only in places where the debt pack receptacle icon appears. Yeah, so these are only for story progress, essentially. You can't just huff them around like grenades. But, you know, that does give you an indicator of what we're supposed to do next. To have a good little sweep around this area we have some more washers nice washers don't disappear nothing that actually drops disappears to my knowledge uh, you can see that we've picked up that uh, speed boost now not only do you upgrade your guns in this game uh, you can also find servo upgrades I can't remember if you up you buy the servo upgrades or if you find them these will upgrade the speed at which uh, glitch uh, reloads and switches out weapons nice to have very nice to have as ah, another washer there you're feeling good glitchy boy i think we've done some uh some pretty hefty damage to this place right let's go use those debt packs and get the fuck out of here one second guys i need to take this call okay so where were we ah uh, yes we've just got our debt packs Right, let's go cause some damage. Uh, damn, the spew is out of ammo as well, which is not a brilliant situation to be in. But that's fine. What's the worst that could happen? Should be able to find some more spew ammo fairly soon. Die, you son of a bitch. Oh, we actually shot his head off. <laughs> oh, man, that never gets old. Even though his head's gone and now his arm's gone, they will still fire at you. You know, the melee is actually kind of uh, broken in how powerful it is. 
it doesn't do damage per se, but it really can disable the enemies like that. Just leave them a, a massive moving metal. <laughs> right, let's go collect some, some goodies. Yeah, I'm not sure how much it actually takes to destroy these guys with melee. Uh, apparently quite a lot. Let's grab that. Nice. Now, we need to plant ourselves some debt charges. So, let's have a little look for these. We need to plant three debt charges. Now, you want to be careful here because if you plant all three debt charges, that's it. The mission's over. So, we don't really want to end up in that sort of territory. Not until you're 100% sure that you want to leave the area anyway. So, let's go all the bloody way down here. Because there's a sneaky little bastard at the bottom. In fact, I think there's two sneaky little bastards at the bottom. Uh, they're guarding something that we want. Oh, broke his arm. Oh, savage. Unlucky, my dude. Target that noise. Yeah, who could that be? Maybe it's Glitch coming to steal your soul and your washers. Right, cool. Okay, now we can go back up. Now we've pacified the area and we've got the maximum amount of coinage that we can actually get here. Uh, there maybe there's some... Um, what do you call it? Oh, God. Maybe there's a golden uh, washer here or something. It could be, but not that I know of. So let's just use that and get the flock out of here. Indeed. And with that, guys, that is the end of Seal the Mines. So, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.